Leave it all to me, I will do the right thing. Maybe I'll be everything I need. Greetings viewers, Ian here from 1998 Monroe NY Colonial. For those of you not familiar with those song lyrics, they're from Saving My Face by KT Tunstow from 2007. You can look it up if you're not familiar with the song. And if you're not familiar with KT Tunstow, she also wrote a more popular song called Suddenly I See from about circa 2005. Some of you will be will probably be more familiar with Suddenly I See as it was as it was a song used in some of the TV commercials here in the United States over the past decade. In today's video, I want to talk about how each of the different states are taking responsibility to holding China accountable for their actions of punitive damages. I'll also point out about other countries following through. The whole point of, of me bringing up those KT Tunstow lyrics is because I just want to incorporate some true meaning behind my points of views to this world affair. I'm not a professional in, in anything I go over in this video or the last four I made. These videos are just opinions of mine to help people to help inform people on how to make wiser decisions so do not use this video or, or any of my other videos to substitute government or CDC guidelines. You don't have to listen to me if, if you disagree with anything I say, but if you wish to join in on these conversations, you are more than welcome to do so. Before we dive into the topic, I just want to let everyone know that I'll be temporarily suspending all photography content on my 1998 Monroe NY Colonial Instagram profile until further notice. However, I'll still be posting pictures on FOAT. If anything changes, I'll keep every one of you informed. For those of you not familiar with FOAT, it's one of those stock photography sites where anyone can post, post their pictures up for sale or for looking at. If anyone wants to know more information about FOAT, you can Google it. If not, you can email or message me on Instagram and I'll explain what it is. Bottom line is, this decision to suspend all photography for the short term is one of the hardest decisions I've made. <sighs> Just like President Trump closing the, the U.S. at the beginning of this COVID-19 pandemic. The reason why I'm suspending all photography except for FOP is because we need to have real conversations about China and how their actions have affected everyone in every country here on Earth. From people getting sick and dying to the economy crashing and burning, as well as people being bored and isolated at home, it's very mind-boggling and agonizing. Like I said in two of my last videos, I pointed out how China is extremely poor, wanting everyone else to be the same. The mentality of China is to spread communism and make people make people's lives miserable, which is absolutely unacceptable here in America and all countries across the world. Like I said, different states here in the U.S. and other countries are working on actions of suing and punishing China for what they did and all the lies they told. I could talk all day about the details, but will not and only emphasize the important aspects. Some examples of American states suing are California, Texas, Florida, Missouri, and Mississippi, just to name a few. Some examples of countries suing are England, France, Germany, and Australia, also just to name a few. I have a very high gut feeling that there are many other countries also suing China although it's no surprise. There are certainly different ways of which you can punish China, but the main point of all these states and in individual countries suing are by imposing tariffs and forcing the country to pay reparations for all the monetary and punitive damage they cause, especially for causing 300,000 plus worldwide deaths and billions and trillions of dollars worth of damage. The point of why I chose to incorporate the lyrics of leave it all to me, I will do the right thing, Maybe I'll be everything I need is to prove how American states and worldwide countries are taking full responsibility of being independent and not letting China take advantage of them anymore. What these KT Tunstall lyrics also represents to me is how I'm going to take responsibility of making more videos and keep everyone informed. I also remember when I I also remember when I used to post frequently on Instagram before I stopped for a while. In the not too distant past, I was attending school at SUNY Dutchess, a local community college here in the Hudson Valley, New York region where I live, and I was really busy with schoolwork. Despite that, I want to build up my followers again and be an asset for those who care to be successful in life. Another example of lyrics I want to express from Saving My Face 
is I'm all out of love, all out of faith. I will do anything just for a taste. Everything's here, all out of place. I'm losing my memory, saving my face. In my opinion, it shows desperateness of wanting to be wanting to do better in rebuilding the economy and country of the US and other countries. If we give up what we've been doing and don't keep up the progress, then the virus would keep getting worse, hence the lyrics, everything's here, all out of place. I'm losing my memory, saving my face. The main reason why I chose to do a review on saving my face is because I heard the song over the PA system at the Waffinger Falls Big Lots, where I've been working for the last year until quarantining back in late March. I heard the song over and over again at work, and all those lyrics I stated really got my attention to this global crisis. Despite how Saving My Face was written back in 2007, 10 plus years ago, it's still a, an amazing song to listen to, and even though it was sang to express totally different meanings than what I talked about here, it still has a lot of endless meaning and character to it. Anyway, shifting the focus for a moment, I want to I want to explain some th some more things about why China is horrible. In addition to what I talked about in my second video about why they're the worst country, these are going to be some gross, disgusting topics. So bear with me for a moment. I remember more than ten years ago when I used to live in Monroe Woodbury and purchase some fish from one of my local grocery stores, Shoprite, in Monroe, New York. My dad and I used to purchase some frozen flounder that was imported from China and it was disgusting. The fish was not fresh and not only that, the worst part was the fish was very dirty from absorbing the debris and pollutants in the lakes, rivers, and bodies of water where they were caught. The chance of there being fecal matter, heavy metals, and all kinds of nasty substances is high for fish caught in China. This is hence one of the reasons for the country's pollution and environmental issues. This is not the worst issue. Another gross problem is the fact that Chinese people tend to crap and pee all over the streets, which is another example of pollution. I think I also remember seeing a YouTube video from I can't remember how long ago, but of a similar issue to peeing and crapping. One time there was a mom in China on a subway that was distracted on her phone, and she had a little daughter with her. That girl had to go to the bathroom so bad, she peed all over the freaking floor of the train. And I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. This just shows how careless and irresponsible a majority of Chinese people are, and why most of them are not trustworthy to be friends with. There are many other problems I could go on about, but I'm not going to bother and don't have time. I know certain people are going to say it's racist to call this global pan pandemic the China virus, and I want to tell you it's not. This virus has nothing to do with people's race, except for the fact that it was started, harbored, and spread in China, and people lied and failed to contain it. Charlie Kirk said that, said that in his video I shared to go with my first video, and you'll hear him say that someone, you'll hear him say that sometime after he said that we should have stricter immigration. I don't know Charlie Kirk that well, but nevertheless, he's an amazing motivational speaker, and I highly recommend checking him out if you haven't done so already. Whether you found this video helpful or not, you, you may comment, rate, and subscribe. For those of you who want to connect with me socially, you can send me an email or follow me on Instagram at Ian Lee Low or 1998 Monroe NY Colonial. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care and be safe. Peace out.